Hi everybody. Um, how does Christexa work? Christexa is a medication that's used to treat patients that have severe gout. What is gout? Gout is a condition that people have. It's very painful. Okay, it's a condition that people have when their bodies cannot excrete uric acid at a fast enough rate to the rate at which they're making it. So this uric acid tends to accumulate in the joints. So it can accumulate in the in the feet, in the knees, in the elbows, in the ears. Um, initially, when your doctor tries to teach treatment, you it may try you on some pills but if you have severe joint damage then they may consider a medication called Christexa which is an intravenous medicine that's used to treat gout so um, there is a scan it's called special scan is a specialized CT scan and what it does is that it looks at your legs and it, because the, the feet is the most common site for deposit, depositing uric acid. So it looks at your legs and it identifies and can quantify how much uric acid you actually have deposited. And so once it identifies how much uric acid you have deposited, your doctor can discuss with you whether this medication called Christexa is helpful. One other additional reason to be on this medicine called Christexa is that the uric acid is damaging the joint. So there, there's the issue of the pain and there's also then the issue of what is the quality of life that one has if the uric acid has been allowed to damage the joints unfettered, right? So that's why we're really thinking that this medication will be helpful. Christexa is what's called a biologic. So it's a biologic because it's it targets a particular problem, right? So the problem that this medication targets is that is the uric acid is forming lumps. So it goes in there and actually just dissolves the uric acid, like it's an enzyme, dissolves the uric acid so that it's in a form that can be excreted. So how is Christexa given? It's given through a vein. So there's a small needle and a little catheter and it goes into the vein and it's given every two weeks. How long is Christexa given for? Its commitment may be six months or longer. Really depends on how much TOFI is there. Typically with my patients, we'll do a CT scan at the six month mark, that dual energy CT scan. And it really help us gauge. So we have something concrete to compare our progress to and then decide if we have to use it for longer. So far in our clinic, we're typically about one year. I know there are some other clinics that are using it for more than one year out. Uh, but I think no matter how much you've been able to achieve with lowering your uric acid, I think it would really be very helpful to do it for as long as it's feasible. Big issues with Christexa, a big concerns that people have is the risk of allergic reaction. So prior to about seven years ago, um, we didn't have a good answer for allergic reactions. Allergic reactions have now been, are now at a minimum because there's a medication called methotrexate that we use. So methotrexate has been available in the world of rheumatology for the last 60 plus years. And we use it very commonly. One of the things that we use it for is to prevent allergic reactions to medication. So in our line of work, we do that all the time. We'll give you some methotrexate to use in addition to your Christexa. So the methotrexate are pills typically you're taking about five pills once a week uh, let's say Monday is a day you take the methotrexate and that actually prevents your body from developing antibodies to the Christexa. The other thing that happens is that we do and we check your blood and make sure you can tolerate the medicine. So there's something called a G6PD level and we will check it to make sure that you can actually tolerate using the medication called Christexa. Um, and then, um, and then, um, yeah, and so how is it given? It's given an infusion center. Um, very, you know, experienced nurses are given it. Uh, typically, we would check your uric acid. So there are many things, because of the risk of allergic reactions, there are many things that we do to try to prevent allergic reactions from happening. So one is the methotrexate that we mentioned. Two is to check your body and make sure that you have an enzyme that you can process. And then finally, it is also um, 
we check your uric acid levels kind of like a few days before your infusion. And the reason we do that is that if your body has started developing antibodies to the medicine, then your blood uric acid level will rise. And if your blood using uric acid level rise, it's kind of a warning for us that, hey, this person may be at risk for an allergic reaction. And so your doctor will decide whether or not you should continue on the medicine. So three very good fail safe minimum things that we do to prevent you from developing an allergic reaction. Um, people that have kidney disease and liver disease are actually candidates for it. It doesn't interfere with liver or kidney. So hopefully this has been able to answer questions for my patients um, that are going to be started on Christexa or that have heard about it. Um, so my name is Dr. Inola Dada. Follow me on um, Healthy Joints, Healthy Lifestyle Show uh, for more tips about medications that your doctors may be recommending or more information about your condition. For also, um, or share this video if you think it's been helpful. Um, we're in the greater Seattle area. If you know have gout or you know anyone who has gout, please, please, share this video with them. I have them check us out at overlakearthritis.com. We have a team of doctors, nurse practitioners, and providers that can help you to a healthier version of yourself. Take good care. Bye-bye.